party. Luis Monarca, hello, Luis. Welcome. Hello. hello. Hi, Julio Cesar. Hello. Hello, Mirna Janet, hello. Hello, hello, Mirna Janet Saldaña. Hello. Hello, Eduardo. Hi, Eduardo. Welcome. Hello. Hi, Wilfredo. Nice to see you. Maria Elena. Hello, Maria Elena. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, nice to see you guys. So, are you ready for a new class today? Yes, I am ready. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start in a moment. So we're just going to wait uh, for a minutes, some minutes. Ah, para un poquitito. Vamos a ver si ya ingresan los demás. So meanwhile, we're going to start with um, uh, a reviewing of the rules, right? Let's see. Okay, so just give me some seconds. Ok, perfecto. Muy bien, vamos a empezar nada más haciendo un pequeño recordatorio. Es muy importante estos días para que ustedes pues, no se me sientan ahí, ¿verdad? Que eh, perditos o que algo no quedó claro. Entonces siempre nosotros les vamos a ayudar para que pues, esté todo claro y para ayudarles también a que todo funcione bien. Entonces esto va a ser eh, bueno estos primeros días, siempre hacerles el recordatorio. Y pues ya eh, después pues ustedes van a ir... Eh, ya adaptándose a la metodología que nosotros utilizamos. Y eh, nada más recordar este punto muy importante respecto a las tareas y evaluaciones que tienen fechas, ¿verdad? Hay fechas dentro de las cuales nosotros vamos a realizar cada una de las actividades, eh, ya sean las tareas que están en la plataforma, también el examen de, eh, digamos, el examen medio, eh, que es la fecha martes 18 de octubre. También tenemos la fecha límite para terminar el examen final. Eso sería el domingo 30 de octubre. Nada más recordar eso, ¿verdad? Es muy importante esas fechas. Es necesario también obtener el 80% de, eh, en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Entonces, ahí sí les hacemos hincapié en ese punto. En esos puntos, pues ahí sí pues, es un requisito indispensable que solicitamos como inglés corporativo. Y también eh, recuerden que los reportes se van cada viernes a Insafor. Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, el día de mañana, el viernes, eh, por lo menos deben de estar completadas las actividades del día 1, 2 y 3, ¿verdad? Entonces, y, pues ya el, ya el miércoles ya deberíamos de tener completada toda la semana. Este día vamos a ver un poco más el manual, lo vamos a trabajar. Ese también está alojado dentro de la plataforma. Vamos a ver. 
algunos requerimientos que también tenemos. Eh, recuerden que cuando ingresan ustedes a cada sesión, debemos de ubicar nuestro nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, si hubiera alguno, tiene que agregar la palabra oyente al final de su nombre. Um, otro requisito indispensable es la cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Recuerden que nosotros iniciamos a las 8 en punto y pues terminamos a las 10 en punto también, ¿verdad? Um, también es recordatorio que al final de cada sesión se da una asesoría de 10 minutos por participante. Esto es de acuerdo a la lista de asistencia. Entonces, el, um, bueno, el día de ayer um, iniciamos con una persona y continuamos con la siguiente persona en esa lista. También, ¿verdad? Para que todo se, pues, se, la clase se lleve bien, eh, también es importante minimizar, ¿verdad? Los sonidos externos. Si hay sonidos externos, pues ahí nos colabora con los micrófonos, ¿verdad? apagándolo, ¿verdad? O encendiéndolo cuando sea de, partic eh, de participar. Y lo otro que solicitamos es participar, pues, al 100% en cada una de las actividades. Muy bien. Recuerden también que no hay permisos. La asistencia también se toma en dos ocasiones, eh, más o menos como a las 8 y 20 o a las 9 y 40. A veces se toma una o dos veces. Entonces, ahí no se vayan a extrañar si pues la pasamos dos veces, ¿verdad? Incluso se han dado ocasiones que sí se pasa tres veces, ¿verdad? Eso es para llevar un control de si la persona está conectada o no está conectada. Y también eso, ¿verdad? Se tomará como válido el escuchar el participante, decir presente o present y tener su cámara encendida. Entonces, esos son los puntos más importantes que considero que hay que siempre mencionar. Y pues, eh, bueno, cualquier inconveniente siempre hacerlo saber, ¿verdad? Para poderle darle atención rápidamente. Muy bien. Continuamos por acá. Las fechas eh, de las evaluaciones. Semana 1, aquí tenemos las fechas. Eh, dentro de esta semana deben estar completadas las actividades de la semana 1. Tenemos la semana 2, semana 3, del 19 al 25 de octubre y semana 4, del 26 al 30 de octubre. Van a ver que el tiempo va a pasar súper rápido. Muy bien. Ahora sí podemos continuar. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta, chicos, por ahí. Okay. Yo tengo una pregunta. Sí, Fíjate que yo estaba haciendo la, las evaluaciones y no sé si eso va a ser después o, o ahorita con una tarea que hice. ¿De las tareas que dejaron ahí? Uh -huh. La tarea, Entonces, hay una asignación um, después de cada clase. Entonces, um, usted puede, digamos, eh, avanzar. Usted puede avanzar o irla realizando. Lo prefer eh, es preferible que la vaya realizando después de cada clase. Por eh, alguna cuestión o alguna duda, también que eso le puede ayudar para que eh, resolver la tarea. Pero puede avanzar también. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, Wilfredo. Ok, so now let's start. So we're going to play a game right now about personal information. So let's start. So here you have some um grids and you ha have to select um a number so we're going to um start one by one and you gotta give me the answer for these questions let's see so let's start with you wilfredo wilfredo please select a number a ver, vamos a elegir ahí el number. number nine number nine yes is it right Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm, okay, so we're not playing in teams now. Todavía estamos jugando así como muy a, a ver, competitivamente. Ya más adelante lo vamos a competir. Muy bien. Uh, select another number, please, Wilfredo. Uh, 15. 15. Yes. Okay, so do you like dogs or cats? I like the dog. So you like dogs? Yes. And do you have any pets? Uh, more or less, my sister has a cat. Mm, okay, your sister has a cat. Mm, and how about you? Do you have a cat or a dog? 
I like the dog, but I don't have. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Gabriela, hi, Gabriela. Good evening. Hi. Select a number, Gabriela. Uh, seven. Seven, okay. So where do you live, Gabriela? Where do you live? I live in San Salvador. And you? Uh, I live in San Salvador. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. So let's continue with you, Eduardo Espino. Hi, Eduardo. Hi. Hi, Eduardo. Select a number. Um, 10. 10. Okay. So what school do you go to? Um, do you go to school, Eduardo? Uh, no. No? no. Okay, so we're going to skip this one. And do you have uh, children, Eduardo? Do you mm. have kids? Tiene hijos? Do you have kids? No, no. No. Okay, nice. Okay, so we, we're going to skip this one. Okay. We're going to mark. <laughs> and in the past, what school did you uh, go to in the past? What school did you go to? Um, the school is... I went to? America. I go to Hispanome. Okay. I went to? I went to Hispanoamerica. Ah, okay, Spano America School. Okay, thank you. Let's see. So now let's continue with somebody else. We have uh, Eduardo Valdez. Um, help me with your cameras. Ayúdenme con las cámaras. Eduardo Valdez. Hi, Eduardo. Hi. Select a number, Eduardo. Uh, two. Two. Okay. Ah, okay. No, not this one. Select another number. Four. Four, okay. Wow, so you're very lucky. Suertudo, mira, no le sale ninguna. Vamos a ver, Eduardo, another one. Uh, one. One, okay. So what is your best friend's name? What is your best friend's name? Do you have a best friend? Tiene algún mejor amigo? Do you have a best friend? Yes. Uh huh. So can you tell us uh, his or her name? So what is your best friend's uh, name? Uh, is uh, Marisol Lopez. Okay, nice. Okay. And last name, right? Okay, thank you. Let's see, um, we continue with Ileana. Ileana, please select a number. Number six. Six, mm, okay, so you're driving. Okay, vamos a, vamos a dar ahí espacio, okay, okay. Um, let's see who's next in the list. Jessica, please answer the question. What do you do in your free time? I... Mm. You sleep, do you sleep? Do you watch uh, Listen to music. Okay. What is your favorite kind of music? Uh, <laughs> be honest, be honest. <laughs> Muchas, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> I don't know. Select some of uh, the ones that you like. I don't, probably electronic music, romantic music. Uh, salsa, I don't know. <laughs> no tengo uno favorito. <laughs> so you like all of them. 
of the genders, okay? Genders. Okay, thank you, Jessica. And let's see. So we continue with you, Julio Cesar. Hi, Julio. Hi, teacher. Select a number, Julio. Um, five. Number five, okay. Okay, interesting question. Look at the cat. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how many hours do you sleep? How many hours do you sleep? Guys, how many hours do you sleep? Um, I will sleep in 18 hours. Okay. I sleep 18 hours. Mm, 18 or eight? Eight. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, that, that, that was too much. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's see, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, teacher. Okay, Karen, T uh, select one number, please. 14. Okay, perfect. So what do you have for lunch today? Mexican torta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mexican food, okay. I ate yes. Mexican food. I ate Mexican food. Perfect. Yeah. Is that your favorite kind of, if, uh, I mean, food? Yes, I prefer okay. the Mexican food and meat. Okay, perfect. So you have some uh, favorite ones. Let's see, um, we continue with uh, Luis. Hi, Luis. Hi. Luis, are you driving, Luis? No, no. Oh, because of the camera. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, Luis, nice to see you, Luis. Luis, select one number, please. Uh, eight, number eight. Okay. Okay, what kind of music do you, la do you listen to? Uh, I listen to uh, rock. Rock music? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite band? Héroe uh, del silencio. Ah, oh, nice. That is a good one. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Um, Maria Elena, please help us with another number. Maria Elena. Uh, uh, three. Three. Okay. How old are you? Fifteen. Um, <laughs> Um, I am. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. Three, twenty-three. Okay, thirty-three. Three. Okay, thirty-three. 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 Perfect. Uh, Mirna, Janet, Mirna, please select a number. Thank you. Twenty. Oh, perdón. Then six. Okay, 16. Then six. Okay, 16. Let's see, 16. what was the last movie you saw? La última película que vio. So what was the last movie you saw? Um, the last movie? The last I movie? Uh-huh. The last movie I saw was um, Frozen. Frozen, okay. So the last movie I saw, saw was Frozen. Okay, perfect. Do you have kids? Do you have kids? Sorry. Do you have kids, children? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. That's why I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Omar, hi, Omar. Please pick a number. Hi, teacher. It's number 12. 12. Okay. How often do you eat junk food? Mm, yes, I usually, usually. Usually. Never, sometimes, usually. Okay. So, what is your favorite junk food? Pizza, um, Papa John's, Little Caesar. Mention. Like, otras que le <laughs> a hamburger. Hamburgers, Burger King, Wendy, China. Uh, Chinese food, <laughs> China. Yes, Omar. So, what is your favorite uh, hamburger? Uh, uh, Burger King. Burger King. Okay. 
Baconator. No, that's Wendy's. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Sonia. Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Hi, teacher. Sonia, please pick a number. 13 um, or 11? 11. Okay, 11. How many siblings do you have? How many siblings do you have? Um, ¿Cuántos hermanos? ¿Cuántos hermanos? How many siblings? One, um, two. Uh, okay. Uh, I have one brother. Okay. Only one brother? Yes. Okay. Nice. Mejor no comparte con mucho. <laughs> Let's see. Virginia. Hi, Virginia. So we're just going to um, you. Virginia, uh, you have 13. So no question for you. Vamos a ver, chicos, una pregunta para Virginia. Vamos a ver. Let's see, one question for Virginia, guys. Wilfredo, ask what, a question. Yes. What is the second name? Ah, okay, Virginia, what is your second name? Uh, your second name, su segundo nombre. What is your second name? Uh, uh, is uh, uh, Carmen. Carmen. Carmen? Yeah. Carmen. Ah, okay. Uh, it's, um, del Carmen. It's okay. Uh -huh. So I think she said Carmen, right? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Thank you, Virginia. And it's a pleasure to meet you. I got it. Estoy viendo no, algunas caritas que no vi. Creo yo. <laughs> ya vamos a ver cuando pasemos la asistencia que nos tiene que dar un resultado diferente. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to continue with the class. Uh, and for this class, uh, we have uh, some new things to cover. Okay, so here we have our agenda for today. And we're going to start with this. Uh, we have a warming up, a pre-task, a task preparation, a post task, a wrap up, and the assignment. So let's continue. So please, uh, one um, request try to participate in all of the activities. Okay, if you have questions, you open your microphone, you send a WhatsApp, you send a, a message through Zoom. Okay, so but ask. Okay, si surge alguna pregunta, recuerden que pueden hacerlo a través del chat, activando el micrófono, levantan la manita. So there is no any problem with that. So now let's start with this. So we have uh, use the following greetings and have a short dialogue with your classmates. In the previous class, so I mean yesterday, we were talking about some greetings. So we're going to practice these short dialogues and then we're going to do that in here in the class. And notice something that I want to share with you. These are some titles in English that we use in order to address people. For example, Miss Ito, Miss Ito, or you can say Miss Ramirez, Miss Lopez, Miss Spin, uh, Miss Guevara, for example. Um, Ileana Estela, vamos a ver, Ileana Estela, ahí sí nos colabora ahí con el nombre. Recuerden ubicar su nombre completo según su due. Okay. Um, so let's continue. Miss Guevara for single females. Okay. If that person is single, so you're going to use uh, this title for that person. The title plus the um, last name. For example, Miss. Ramirez, for example, so that is my case, because I'm not married. If you're married or you have a something, so you have to write, use another title. And you have to write, a, for example, this title, Mrs. Morgan for married females. So don't confuse this one with this one. So this is Mr. and this is Mrs. Mrs. Morgan for ladies for ladies, Miss, Mrs. Morgan, for married females. 
And we also have another title for ladies that um, we have MS, Miss, and this is pronounced uh, the same. So we have Miss and we have Miss. The difference is the pronunciation. We have Miss and Miss. So that, that's the only difference. The S at the end or the Z at the end. And we also have the titles for, um, let's say for um, men, for example, Mr. Garcia, single or married uh, males. In this case, notice that we have um, Miss and Miss, uh, Miss Ito, Miss Chen. Uh, Chen. So we have the title plus the last name. Let's see, give me examples, ladies. So give me your last names. Um, let's see, Karen, what's your last name? Miss Leon. Miss Leon, okay. Miss Leon. Um, Virginia, what is your last name? So Virginia, el apellido. Hello, hello, Virginia. Uh, let's see. Vasquez. Vasquez, okay. Okay, Miss Vasquez. Solo que acá no les preguntamos si estaban casadas o no. Ahí, eh. <laughs> Nos guardamos los derechos ahí. Let's see. How about you, Ileana? Ileana, so what's your last name, Ileana? The first name is Ileana Estela Serrano. Okay, Serrano. Nice. De Candelario. Okay. So you're, um, okay, so in that case, I'm going to write Mrs. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Serrano. And notice that for men, we only have one, Mr. And that's all. So now let's practice the conversation so we have listen and practice. Hi, Matthew, how's it going? Great, thanks. How about you, Lisa? And then we continue with another conversation. I'm just fine, Alex, thank you. Good morning, Mr. Garcia, how are you? Good afternoon, Linda, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? How are you doing? Conversation four. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Let's see, so let's start with uh, an example. Wilfredo, please help me, conversation one. Hi, Wilfredo, how's it going? Great, thanks, how about you? Okay, great, thanks, how about you? How about you, Lisa, or how about you, Adelie? I'm fine, thanks. So let's repeat that again, Wilfredo. Hi, Wilfredo, how's it going? Great, thanks. How about you, Lisa? Okay, how about you? 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 Okay, um, thank you, Wilfredo. And let's see, Eduardo, please, uh, conversation two. Good morning, Mr. Let's see, Spino. Good morning, Mr. Spino. How are you? I'm good, fine. Alex, thanks you. Okay, I'm just fine. And you use my name. I'm just fine, uh, Alex, or the person that you're talking with. I'm just fine, just, just. I'm just fine. Alex, thank you. Again, let's do it again, Eduardo. Uh, good morning, Mr. Spino, how are you? I'm just fine, Alex, thank you. Okay, and just, just, just. Yes. Okay, fine. perfect. Let's see, Gabriela, Gabriela, please. Conversation three, Gabriela. Good afternoon, Linda, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Again? Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? 
Okay, good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? So let's do it again. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Okay, repeat that again with me. Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. How, how, how are, are you doing? doing? Okay, so be careful with these things. Okay, it's not T, it's thanks, 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 thanks. Yes, like a Z, um, a Z, right? Thanks, thanks. Okay. Um, let's see, Jessica, please help us with the last conversation. Good evening, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? Um, um, okay, thank you. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. Um, okay, nice. Let's see. Um, let's do it a little bit faster. Um, Karen and Isaías, please, conversation one. Karen and Isaías, conversation one. Hi, Isaías. How is it going? Great. Hi. How, how about you? Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, Luis and Maria Elena, conversation two. Uh, good morning, Miss uh, Maria Elena. Seria, how yes. are you? Um, I'm just fine. I'm just, I'm just fine. Uh, I just find Luis. Luis, thank Luis. you. Uh huh. Luis, thank Luis, you. Thank you. Luis, okay. thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Um, let's see. How about you, Omar and Sonia? Sonia Maricela. Conversation three. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Very good. Thanks. How are you doing? Okay. Thanks. Nice. Uh, how about you? Let's see, Gabriela and Eduardo Valdez. Conversation four. Good evening, Miss Morgan. Hello, Miss Gabriela. How are you? I okay. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Let's see. And I want to listen. Oh, okay. Okay, so now let's repeat the conversation again. So listen up and try to repeat that in with me. Hi, Matthew, how's it going? How's it going? Hi, Matthew, how's it going? Great, thanks. How about you, Lisa? How about you, Lisa? How about you, Lisa? Hi, Matthew, how's it going? Great, great, thanks. How about you, Lisa? Conversation two. Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Conversation three. Good afternoon, Linda. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Pretty good, thanks. So you can say pretty or pretty good. Bastante bien, thanks. How are you doing? Conversation for good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Mrs. Morgan. So remember, if you know that that person is married, you're going to use this title. Está casada, utilizamos este título. Mrs. Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. So notice the difference. So we have Mrs. and Miss, right? Okay, so now what you have to do in this uh, first activity is to go to the breakout rooms and practice these short dialogues using your own names. Okay. 
So are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So remember that you have to use your own names. Recuerden que van a utilizar sus apellidos y sus nombres. Okay. And be careful with the titles. Y ahí cuidado con los títulos. Okay. Okay. So now let's go to the breakout rooms. So we have like uh, five minutes. Okay. Three to five minutes. Vamos, hay alguien que no haya recibido la invitación, Eduardo, Isaías, María Elena, eh, Janet. Hi. ¿Se la enviamos nuevamente? Sí, yo la acepté. Ella la aceptó. Eh, María Elena, sí. Vamos a ver. Sí, yo la acepté, pero no sé por qué me mandó no. a la principal. Ah, vale. Ahorita le envío una. Vamos a ver. Isaías, el cuatro. Eh, Mirna, la vamos a ver al cinco. Yes. Ok. En la parte de abajo. Ok. Ah, solo se mete al grupo. Listo, yo creo que sí, ya, ya puedo. ¿Hoy sí? Yo creería que sí. No aparece. Dejo que grabe proyecto de pantalla, le doy permitir. Ok, ya, ya me apareció a mí. Espérame. Uh -huh. Ya, ya lo tengo, yo te lo paso. Listo. ¿Va? Ahí la... ¿Hola? No sé si puede ver la pantalla ahorita. Eh, sí, ¿no te parece? Eh, yo la subí, ¿no te aparece ahí? Ah, perdón, perdón, no, no, no me he fijado. No, en otras cosas. En otras cosas. <risa> No. ¿Hoy sí? Sí, ahora sí. Ya me sale. Okay. Gracias. Um, ¿Qué explicó eh, la, la señora que se me olvidó? <risa> Dijo que practicáramos cada una de las imágenes, vea, pero. Cada una de las conversaciones. Ajá, correcto. Ajá. Ok. Eh, si gusta, comenzamos con la primera. Está bien. Eh, yo, la chica, tú, el chico. Eh, espérame. Ok, uh, ¿cuál es tu nombre? ¿Le pongo tu nombre o así como va? Eh, como guste, Luis me llamo, pero eh, como usted guste. Ok, muy fácil. Eh, hi Luis, uh, how is going? Great, thanks. How about you, Liz, uh, Sonia? Sonia, está okay. bien. Ok, um, la conversación 2. Right. Ahí va a disculpar okay. mi mal inglés, vea. Ah, igual yo. <ríe> Ahí vamos. Vaya, empiezo yo eh, ahora. Good morning. Ok. Good morning, Miss Sonia. How are you? I am who's fine, Luis. Thank you. Ok. Um, the conversation three. Uh -huh. Empiezas tú, después yo. Vaya. Permítame que si me estoy moviendo el limón. Good afternoon, Sonia. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. How are you doing? Conversation. Um, before, okay. empiezo yo. Uh -huh. uh, good evening, Mr. Luis. Uh -huh. Hello, Miss Sonia. How are you? Ya repetí eso como I am okay. Thank you. <laughs> 
Ese, esa, okay, esa misma frase ya la repetí como tres veces ya. <risa> ok, volvemos a la primera. Okay. Sí, es, ahora, es, ahora es empiezo como... yo en... De... Ajá, ¿sí? Ok, está bien. No, está bien. Empiezo okay. esto. Listo. Eh, hi. Sonia. How is this, how this going? ¿Cómo es la cosa? How is going? Algo así. How is going? How is going? Ajá. How is going? Great, thank you. How about you, Luis? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, ahora empiezo yo. Eh. Eh, sí. Ah, no, tú eh, sería en este caso, ¿verdad? Este, empiezo yo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. Luis. How are you? I'm just fine, Sonia. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, empiezas tú. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, Sonia. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. How are you doing? Okay. Eh, uh, la cuatro. Eh, la cuatro. Good Empiezo evening. Eh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry. Hello, hello, guys. Did you finish? Hello. Hello. Vamos a ver, com ¿completaron la actividad? Sí, la, la, las cuatro conversaciones. Repeat en todas las conversaciones. Okay, repeat them, please. Okay, uh, and number one. Uh, hi, Eduardo, how's it going? It's going. Great, thanks. How about you, Gabby? Number two. Uh, good morning, Mr. Espino. How are you? I'm just fine, Gabby. Thank you. Okay, number three. Good afternoon, Eduardo. How are you? Very good, thanks. How are you doing? And number four. Good evening, Mr. Spino. Hello, Miss Gabby. How are you? I I okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you guys. Perfect. Uh, Virginia, thank you. Um. Okay, la cuatro, la tres, perdón. Sonia, how are you? Very good, thank you. How are you doing? Good. Cuatro. Good evening. Sonia. Good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh. Good evening. Good evening, evening Mr. Sonia. Um, Mr. Ajá, Mrs. Sonia. Mrs. Sonia. Um, ajá. All right, Mrs. Sonia. <laughs> eh, hello, Mr. Hello. Sonia. No, what are you? Mrs. 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 Sonia. Mrs. Mrs. Uh -huh. Ajá. Mrs. Hi. Mrs. Sonia, no how are you? Uh, I am okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Okay, did you finish, guys? Terminamos? Yes. Yes, teacher. So you're very fast. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the main uh, room. Okay, guys, welcome back. So now we're going to check some words that we need to reinforce with the pronunciation. For example, uh, the greeting. How's it going? How's it going? 
Has it going? So you may take some notes. Has it going? Hi, Matthew. Has it going? Has it going? Hi, Matthew. Has it going? Hi, Matthew. Has it going? Has it going? Great. Listen, listen up. Great, great. Thanks. Thanks. Not thanks. 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 Repeat that with me. Thanks. 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 How about you? Thanks. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. How about you, Lisa? How about you, Lisa? How about you? you, Lisa? How about you, Lisa? How about you? How about you, Lisa? Okay. Uh, I'm just, 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 just. I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. So don't forget. Th sounds like thank, thank you, thanks, thank you. Good morning, Mister. So look at the title. This is Mister, right? Mister. Mister. Mr. Mr. Garcia, how are you? We normally use the title plus the last name. So that's we, that's what we add after the title. Um, another one. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Good evening, Mrs. So look at this. So this is different. So this is um, Mr. And this is Mrs. 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 Morgan. Mrs. Mrs. Morgan. Mrs. Mrs. Okay. And look at this one. Miss. 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 Ben. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. So here I have added a chart. So now let's concentrate on this uh, side, Miss versus Mrs. versus Miss. So look at this. Oftentimes people use Miss, Mrs. and Miss interchangeable, but they are different. Everyone should understand that difference. So Miss, so look at this again, Miss for single females. Single females, para personas soltera, ¿verdad? Género femenino, right? Single females, miss. So repeat that with me, miss. 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 So what do I have to add here? ¿Qué agrego acá? Uh, first name, second name, or last name? Last name. Last name, okay. Last name. Last name. Last name. Last name. Con el apellido, right? Uh, how about this one? Misses. Morgan, Mrs. Morgan. Mrs. So, mm -hmm, Mrs. Mrs. Morgan. For example, in here, it could be possible to add, um, let's say, uh, the name plus the, um, let's say, the last name. Mrs. Susan Morgan. So it could be possible. But normally, uh, if you don't want to complicate your life, uh, you, you can add the last name. Mrs. Morgan. Mrs. Morgan. Let's see? Um, so don't confuse that uh, with Mr., right? So we have Mr. Garcia. Okay. For men and so here you have for uh, ladies, okay? Mrs. Morgan and Mr. Garcia. So that is different. That, that's the difference. And the pronunciation between uh, these three is this is Miss with S, this is Mrs, Mrs, and this Mrs. is Miss. 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 Uh -huh. So I'm exaggerating that, but in real life English, it, it's going to uh, sound a little bit uh, different. Miss. Miss. Hi, Miss Morgan. Hi, Miss Morgan, but you mm. have to pay attention to that details, okay? Miss, Mrs, and Miss, okay? Miss, Mrs, and Miss. All of them are for uh, females, right? Okay, any question about these guys? No. 
No. No questions? Okay, so now let's continue. And we have uh, some occupations. So we're going to listen and repeat the following occupations. And then after that, you're going to have a chance to write some examples. So in the previous class, we talked about some affirmative and negative sentences using uh, B, right? So today, you're going to use um, these uh, occupations in order to express uh, or in order to create your own examples. Uh, let's start with the first one. An accountant, an accountant, an accountant, accountant, an accountant. Number two, a bank teller, a bank, bank teller. teller, a bank teller, an electrician, an electrician, 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 a florist, a florist, a florist, a florist. Number five, a gardener, gardener, a gardener, a gardener. If you want to emphasize that, you can also say a gardener. If somebody asks you, uh, for example, what's your occupation? I'm a gardener. I'm a gardener. I'm, a gardener. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your occupation? I'm a gardener. And again, somebody continue asking you, what's your occupation? I'm a gardener. So you continue with that. But if you want to emphasize your occupation, you can uh, modify the sound. I am a gardener. I am a gardener, a gardener. So it could be possible to use a gardener. Let's see, a grocery clerk, grocery clerk, grocery clerk. Number seven, a hairdresser, a hairdresser. Again, number one, an accountant, a bank teller, a bank teller, an electrician, a florist, florist. a gardener, a grocery clerk, grocery clerk, a hairdresser, hairdresser, hairdresser. Let's see, um, let's start with Karen, please. Could you repeat the occupations, please? An accountant, a bank seller, an electrician, florist, and a gardener, grocery clerk, and hairdressers. Okay, nice. Any question about these occupations, guys? <clears throat> Uh, what's the meaning bank teller and a grocery clerk? Okay, a grocery clerk, let's um, say that it's um, a empleado de supermercado, a grocery clerk, and a bank teller, um, un cajero. A bank teller, el persona, el cajero. El cajero. Um, so let's see, let's practice this a little bit more. An accountant, a bank teller, an electrician, electricians. A florist, a gardener, a grocery clerk, a hairdresser, hairdresser, hairdresser. Okay, now, so listen up. I want you to give me some examples using that occupations. For example, I want you to do this uh, right now. So you're seeing affirmatives and negatives. So I'm not, uh, for example, an accountant. I am a hairdresser. So I'm not a, an accountant. I am a I am a hairdresser. Let's see, volunteers, give me some examples, affirmative and negatives. Let's see. Um, example, Virginia, please. One example. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm not, okay. Um, I'm not a nurse. Okay, I'm not a nurse. 
screen. Okay. I am a. Oh. Mm, I dress. Okay, a uh, hairdresser. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hairdresser. I'm not a nurse. I am a hairdresser. Let's see, Eduardo, one example, please. Eduardo. Um, I'm not, I'm not an electrician. Okay. An electrician or a electrician? A electrician. Okay. I am. I am a garden. How do you say garden? Gardener. Okay. Gardener. Okay. I'm a gardener. Nice. Okay. So please write one example through the chat. Write one example through the chat. You have one minute to do this. One example, affirmative and negative sentence. One example through the chat. Quickly, guys, one minute. So you have one minute to write an example. So I wanna see your examples through the chat. So I need 16 examples. So on 16, vamos a ver 16 ejemplos en el chat. So please write your examples. So remember, you can use uh, I am, I'm, or you can use another subject. She's an accountant. She's not, for example. She's an accountant, an accountant. She isn't a doctor, let's say. So you can use another subject. Thank you, Karen, perfect. I'm not a gardener, I'm an accountant. Nice, uh, Maria Elena, he's a gardener, perfect. Another example, guys. So we got Karen and Maria Elena, perfect, ladies. All right. Uh -huh, right, one example. example through the chat. Uh -huh. So, todos escribiendo sus ejemplos en el chat. Julio. Wow, you're very fast. Julio Cesar, I'm not a gardener, I'm a sales executive. Nice. Omar, perfect, Omar, I'm not a florist, I'm a bank teller, nice. Gabriela Guevara, he's in a bank teller, he's an accountant, nice. Sonia Maricela, I'm not a teacher, I'm a florist, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's nice to be a teacher. Luis, She's not a doctor, she said, she's a doctor. Wow, uh, <laughs> so that is, a, I don't know. She's not a doctor, she's a doctor. <laughs> Check that, Luis. Eduardo Valdez, I'm not an engineer, an engineer. So check that. Eduardo Valdez, I'm not an engineer, double E, okay. I'm a doctor, I am a doctor. Um, Mirna, check the spelling. Uh, Mirna, ahí, verifiquemos ahí la, la escritura. Sí, creo que le... uh -huh. I'm not an accountant, an accountant. Account. Okay. Account. An accountant. I'm a lawyer, for example. I'm a lawyer. Accountant, accountant, accountant. So check this one. Así como está acá. Accountant. Accountant, accountant, accountant. She is an, an accountant. Perfect, Maria Elena. Nice. Very good. So that's the idea uh, to create your own examples. Perfect. Accountant. Perfect, Mirna. Okay, she's not a cook, she's a liar. Perfect, Ileana, you have some uh, other um, ideas about some occupations. So let's see, let's check some uh, more occupations because we have some more. So look at this. So we have a mechanic, 
a pharmacist, a professor, a reporter, a salesperson, a travel agent, a secretary, a server or waiter, right? Server or waiter. Let's see, uh, number eight, a mechanic, mechanic, a mechanic, a pharmacist, a professor, a reporter, a salesperson. So the one that you asked about yesterday, a seller, right? So this could be another one, salesperson or seller, a travel agent, a travel agent, a secretary, server, or a waiter. Let's see, uh, Karen, please help us with the pronunciation from 8 to 15. A mechanic, a pharmacist, a professor, a reporter, a salesperson, a travel, a travel agent, a secretary, a server, a waiter. Okay, nice. Let's see, a mechanic, a mechanic, a pharmacist, a professor, a reporter, a salesperson, a travel agent, a secretary, server, or a waiter. Let's see. So give me some more examples using that occupations, using contractions, okay? So use contractions for these examples. So write your examples through the chat. Todos escribiendo nuestros ejemplos through the chat uh, using contractions. Using she's or his, okay? Or I'm. So remember to include affirmative and negative statements. For example, she's a, um, okay, she's a mechanic. Okay. So we have, she's not. A pharmacist. Another example. Um, she's a mechanic. She isn't a professor. Okay, so write your example through the chat. Okay, guys. So go ahead. Let's see, we have the first one, Karen Leon, perfect. He's a mechanic, he's in a truck driver, a truck driver, perfect. So write your examples quickly, quickly. You have one minute, one minute, one minute. So that's enough, but check the spelling, check the spelling. Let's see, I'm going to ask Wilfredo, are you writing your example? Yes. Perfect, Gabriela, very nice. Gabriela Guevara, she's a travel agent. She's an art reporter. Perfect. Let's see more examples. One minute. Okay, Julio Cesar, one minute. You have one minute, guys. I'm a pharmacist. He's not a mechanic, so don't forget the apostrophe, Julio Cesar, apostrophe. I'm, I'm, apostrophe. He's not a mechanic. She's a mechanic. Um, Mirna, check this, the apostrophe. Omar, okay. Perfect, Jessica. Eduardo Valdez, nice. So remember that when you start a sentence, you start with capital letter, capital letter. Recuerden que iniciamos con letra mayúscula cuando inician una oración. She's a reporter, Eduardo Valdez. She's a reporter. She's not a mechanic. She's not a mechanic. Let's see. Okay, so let's start one by one. Read your examples. Virginia, please, read your examples. Vamos a empezar a leer los ejemplos. Ok, vamos a encender esa camarita, recuerden. Siempre con las camaritas encendidas, chicos. Cámaras encendidas, todos ahí, colaboran ahí con las cámaras. Gracias, gracias, gracias. 
Muy bien. Uh, Virginia, uh, your example. Virginia. Ahorita. Um, yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Okay, read your example, Virginia. Um, I am a pharmacist. Okay, I am a pharmacist. Same I, I. Okay, listen, listen up. I am a pharmacist. Virginia, can you repeat that again? I am a pharmacist. Um, Repeat your example. Uh -huh. Okay. I am a pharmacist. I know. Re Re mm -hmm. Reporter. Reporter. Same. Reporter. Okay, Virginia, again. I am a pharmacist. I'm not a reporter. Uh -huh. Re repeat that with me, please. I am a pharmacist. I pharmacist. I'm not. I'm not. A reporter. I am for it. Okay, nice. Gabriela, continue with your examples. She is, he is a mechanic. She is not a ele electrician. Okay, electrician, electrician. electrician. Nice. Uh, Eduardo Espino, continue with your examples, Eduardo. She's a reporter. Okay. She's not a professor. Professor, okay, professor, professor. Um, let's see, Ileana, give us your examples. Share that with us. My example, coach. Uh huh. Your example. Uh, he he is an, a doctor. He is a engineer. Okay, engineer. Okay, he's an engineer. 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 Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Um, yeah, Jessica. I think Jessica, your example. Mm, he's a uh, reporter. Mm, he, he's not a uh, Okay, nice. Sonia Maricela. Um, she is a nurse. Um, she she is a um, uh, pharmacist. Perfect. Wilfredo, go ahead. Hello, hello, Wilfredo, activate your microphone, Wilfredo, it's off. She is a professor, she is not a mechanic. Okay, okay, nice. Thank you, guys. So now, listen up. Uh, you're going to create now a short dialogue. But first, we're going to uh, pause here because I want to pass the attendance list. Antes de que pasemos al, mon al diálogo, vamos a pasar la asistencia. A ver. Ahí nada más me ayudan, recuerden decir present o presente, right? Ok, Carlos Elías Ortega Trejo. Carlos Elías Ortega Trejo. Eduardo Antonio Espino Mejía. Present. Thank you. Gabriela María Guevara. Present. Thank you. 
Gerson Romel Vázquez Díaz. Ileana Estela Serrano de Candelario. Present. Isaías Santana González. Present. Thank you, Isaías. Jessica Ivette Tiliano Sarabia. Present. Thank you. José Eduardo Valdés Martínez. Present. Thank you, José. Julio César Fabián Celaya. Present, Miss. Thank you. Karen Leticia León Rivera. Present. Thank you, Karen. Katia Yesenia Villalta Reyes. Luis Alberto Cruz Monarca. Presente. Thank you. María Elena González García. Present. Thank you. Mirna Janet Saldaña de Espinosa. Presente. Thank you. Omar Alexander Palacio Rivera. Present. Thank you. Paula Jimena Cornejo Álvarez. Okay. Paula Jimena Cornejo Álvarez. Roque Antonio Jiménez Segura. Sonia Marisela Tejada Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez Ventura. Present. Thank you, Virginia. Wilfredo Thank Armando you. Rosales Torres. Present. Thank you. And Lini Aleida Deras. Okay. Perfect, guys. So now let's continue. Let's go back to the class. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. So tell a classmate your occupation, conversation model, uh, read and listen. What do you do? What do you do? Or what do you do? What do you do? I'm an architect. And you? I'm a banker. Rhythm and intonation. So let's listen again. What do you do? I'm an architect. And you? I'm a banker. What do you do? I'm an architect. And you? I'm a banker. Conversation activator. So first, we're going to practice with this short dialogue and then uh, with a partner, personalize that conversation and use your own occupations. For example, you ask the question, what do you do? A que te dedicas, que haces? Uh, I'm a teacher, and you? I'm a doctor, okay? So that's the definition for, that's the translation for that question. What do you do? What do you do? So it sounds like R in some occasions, so that depends. So what do you do or what do you do? What do you do? So what do you do? I'm a teacher, uh, I'm an architect, I'm a doctor, I'm a nurse, I'm a florist, I'm a bank teller, and you? I'm a salesperson or I'm a seller. So easy, so please, um, right now, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs in the breakout rooms again and uh, you have to uh, practice with that conversation okay practice first practice conversation one and then you recreate that and you personalize that with your own information any question questions okay any questions about the activity any question Let's see. Okay. So let's practice a little bit. Uh, yeah, with Fred, questions? I don't know who was that. No, no. Thank no. You. Okay, let's see. Virginia, you are A and um, I'm B. Okay, Virginia, please start conversation model. Here, here. Hello, hello, uh, Virginia. Here, what do you do? Um, um, I'm an architect. I'm an architect. 
and you and you and you and you i'm a banker i'm a banker, I'm a banker. okay again virginia what do you do what do you do you okay what do you do what do you do okay so listen up what do you do what do you do what do you do, what do, you do? Mm, okay so what do you do it sounds a little bit fast what do you do I'm an architect. I'm an architect. I'm an architect. 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 And you? And you? I'm a banker. I'm a banker. Okay, nice. Let's see. Wilfredo and Ileana, please practice the conversation model again. What do you do? I am a uh, architect in you. I am banker. Okay. I'm a banker. I'm a banker. I'm a banker. Okay. I'm a banker. Let's see. How about you, Luis and Omar? Please. What do you do? I am an architect in you. I'm a banker. Okay, nice. So it's going to be easy. So you're going to have like three minutes to practice with this. So first you practice the conversation model and then you uh, create your own conversation. And then you say that out loud here in the main room. Okay. Okay, primero lo vamos a hacer así, con este ejemplo. Después ustedes lo crean y ya después compartimos acá. Okay, so you're ready guys. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So let's do it. Yes. So join mm -hmm. the breakout rooms. Todos ahí uniéndose a la sala. Nice. Eh, empieza usted o yo. Ahí está la foto que dice, yo creo que es lo que vamos a practicar. Ajá. Eh, solo sería, solo sería la, el primer ejercicio, quizá. Pa. Sí, es el primerito. Vaya, sería... What do you do? Eh, espérame, espérame. <ríe> Vaya. Eh, I am messenger service. And you? I am a banker. What Vaya. do you do? What do you do? ¿Qué quiere decir what do you do? What do you, what do, you do? Es que haces. ¿Qué haces? Ajá. I am, and just, I am messenger service. O sea, yo soy mensajería. Um, Joe, ¿qué hace? ¿Y usted? Ah, banquera, ajá, banquera, banquera. Okay, ajá, banquera. como dijo de que, digamos, en la tercera ella dijo que lo podíamos personalizar. O sea, nosotros teníamos ajá. que personalizar la conversación. Eh, ahí donde aparecen los puntitos teníamos que poner lo que, ah, lo que nosotros nos dedicamos y abajo de eh, igual manera ocupación de cada por ejemplo yo pongo mi ocupación y usted la suya ok ok voy ah, comienza usted pues what do you do I am Salad. Am you? I am truck driver. Truck driver. No sé si es truck driver o drive. No sé truck driver. Truck driver. Okay. Um, okay. Ahora, comienzo okay. yo. What do you what do you do? 
um, a doctor and you? Um, a reporter. Okay. What do you do? Um, and a lip. Um, pharmacist. And you? Um, uh, architect. What do you do? Um, a nurse. And you? A service person. What do you do? A reporter. And you? Um, a doctor. What do you do? A nurse. And you? Um, uh, salad person. <laughs> What do you do? Um, what do you do? I am an architect. And you? I am a banker. And what do you do? I am an import assistant. And you? I am seller. Okay. What yeah. do you do? I am seller. And you? I am an import assistant. What do you do? What do you do? I am import assistant, and you? I am seller. Okay, okay. What do you do? I am seller. La verdad. Yeah. O sea, está bien por mí. Okay. Me parece, me parece. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Este... Ya nos vamos a unir a la sala. Hello, <laughs> guys. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, I finished. <laughs> what are your occupations, guys? I am a operations coordinator or mm -hmm. I am a bank. Banker. Yes. Mm, Como despachador. Eh, no. No, cor, coordinador de, de operaciones. De operaciones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, in the, in, in, in the bank. Ah, okay. Ok, yo lo estaba asociando con, 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 perdón, con transporte. Ok, thank you. Ok, so let's go back. Thanks. Hi. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Okay, so I have some notes. I have been listening to you. And um, look at this. So I'm going to add some uh, occupations, career. So we have mensajero, mensajera. Uh, we also have a delivery, um, for example, the delivery man. Uh, another one could be, okay, salesperson. Okay, salesperson or seller. Salesperson or seller. Another seller. one is cleric. Cleric. Todas ellas pueden ser utilizadas para vendedor, ¿verdad? Salesperson, salesperson 
or sales. seller. Uh -huh. Sales. Sales okay. person. Seller Sale or person. Seller. Clerk. Okay. Um, architect. Be careful with the pronunciation for architect. Architect. Okay. Architect. Architect. And I hear some um, import wizard. Por ahí escuchaba también algunos import wizard. Um, I don't remember who mentioned that. Alguien mencionó que importar. Um, ¿quién, ¿Quién fue por ahí? Era una chica. I... Ajá. ¿Cuál es la ocupación en español? Eh, asistente de importaciones. Uh -huh. Asistente de importaciones. Entonces, so you can call import wizard. Import wizard. Ajá. Uh -huh. Or assistant. Así un poco más común. Import También wizard. podría ser posible. Import assistant. And um, we also have transaction. Transaction uh, coordinator, okay? Pero la persona que mencionaba que era coordinador de transacciones en el banco, ¿verdad? Okay, now, so let's see. I want to listen to, let's see, one by one. Gabriela, who were you working with? Vamos, empezamos con el equipo que estaba con, la persona que estaba con Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela? Okay. Go ahead, Gabriela. What do you do? What do you do, Mirna? What do you do? I am sal seller. And you? I am an import wizard. Okay. okay, nice. Let's see, Virginia. Go ahead, Virginia. And what do you do, and Sonia? I am... Um, I am a... Uh... <laughs> A uh, student, and you? Uh, I am a, a student. Okay. I am a? I am a seller. A seller? Seller. Okay, seller, nice. Eduardo, please, go ahead. Thank you, ladies. Okay. What do you do, Omar? I'm transaction coordinator, and you? I'm I am operations assistant. Okay. Okay. Don't forget to include uh, the articles. No olvidamos incluir ahí el artículo A or N. I'm a um, seller. I'm a doctor. I'm an import wizard. So don't forget to add that. Mm -hmm. No olvidemos agregar ahí el artículo. Let's see, Isaías. Um, Eduardo, can you repeat your occupation? En español. Ajá, la, ¿cuál era su ocupación? De auxiliar de operaciones. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and what is the translation that you have? Eh, operation assistant. Um, an operator assistant. An operator assistant. Operator assistant. Operator. An operator. Assistant. Pero un asistente de. Well, that depends. If you're an operator, puede ser sí. an operator. An operator. Okay. Okay. Um, assistance. Ya no sería asistente operador. ¿verdad? An operator assistance. Mm -hmm. Un operador. Uh, let's see, um, Julio, please. Um, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I am Celes. ¿Con quién estuvo trabajando, Julio? Eduardo. Eduardo, okay. Repeat, repeat again. So, what do you do, Eduardo? Okay, so let's start again. Let's start again. Julio, start again, please. Oh, um, lo voy a, lo voy a hacer de principio de nuevo. Uh -huh, please. Okay. What do you do? Um, 
I'm seller. I'm a seller. 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 Uh-huh. What sure. do you do? What do you do? Eduardo, what do you do, Eduardo? I'm a truck driver. Truck driver. And you? Uh-huh. Truck driver. I'm a seller. I'm a seller. I'm a seller. Okay, nice. Thank you, guys. Maria Elena. Uh, what do you do? Is a yes. What do you do? Is a yes. I am a um, motorista, como dice. A driver, a chauffeur, chauffeur. I am chauffeur. Are you? I am messenger service. Mm, okay. So I'm a, so you can use courier, courier. I am a courier, courier, courier. Mm -hmm. courier. Oh, could be passman, but también sería el, bueno, si es cartero, pues, it's passman. Courier, mensajero. Okay, and let's see, let's listen to you, Karen. What do you do, Jessica? Um, a um, cashier in you. I'm a ma manager. Okay, manager. Nice, perfect. So now let's continue with this. Um, please look at this. Uh, don't forget n in you. Okay, in you, in you, in you, in you, in you. Okay, so now. We will continue with uh, something that we didn't finish yesterday, and it's about uh, questions, using questions with B. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we'll continue with the questions today um, with B. Uh, Karen, please, can you read that information? The verb B comes before the subject in question. Okay, so pay attention to this because this is about the structures. So she is at school. So what is the question that we can form uh, with that sentence? So look at this. In questions, you have to invert the order of the subject and the verb. So it means. Mm -hmm. So look at this. So we have subject plus uh, to be. Okay. To be. Plus a complement, right? That's a complement. So how about the questions? So we start with to be plus subject to plus be. complement, and we need a question mark, okay? Question mark. Y necesitamos ahí un question mark. Símbolo de interrogación, signo de interrogación. Okay, she's at school, is she at school? And then you have your question. And, okay, another one. So can you give me the question for this sentence? They are young. Are they young? Okay, perfect. Are they young? Oh. Excellent. This is very easy. Are they young? Okay, examples. So let's check some more examples. She is a teacher. Question. Can you read the question, Virginia? Um, this one. 
English one. Is she a teacher? Is she a teacher? Is she a teacher? Mm -hmm. Is she a teacher? Is she a teacher? Okay, so now in your on your notebook, please uh, write the questions on your notebook. So you have three sentences. Sam and Lisa are in class. He is late. I am busy. So write the questions. Remember that you have to invert the subject. The um, verb to be here at the beginning and the subject goes here. Okay, so write that three examples and then send your responses through the chat. Okay, so write mm -hmm. the examples and write the questions. Okay. So you have one, um, let's see, two minutes to do this. Um, I write I write in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first write it on your notebook. Primero escriba en su cuadernito. Write it on your notebooks. Perfect, Wilfredo. Thank you. How about the rest? You ready, guys? Ready? Thank you, Karen. Perfect, Eduardo. Mm. Okay, Eduardo, check again. Check again, Eduardo. Perfect, Luis. Ah, class, class. Are Sam and Lisa in class? Sí, lo siento, el autocorrector. Okay, and don't forget to write the question mark. Okay, don't forget that question mark. Is he late? Am I... Okay, nice, Gabriela. So just uh, respect the. Um, so when you start a sentence, a question, you start with a capital letter, capital letter. Iniciamos ahí con inicial mayúscula. Gabriela, Omar, Alexander, nice. Eduardo Valdez, uh, question mark, question mark. Question mark. Nice, Eduardo Espino. Luis Monarca, am I busy? I goes, um, okay, I, mayúscula, I, am I busy? Luis, Luis Monarca, am I busy? Luis. Uh -huh. El pronombre yo, ahí lo vamos a poner en mayúscula, am I busy? Ileana, okay, nice, Ileana. Okay, I'm showing you the answers. Okay, nice. So I think that most of you finished with that. Let's see, Jessica, please, can you read the, the, question, the sentences and the questions? Uh, Number one, number one. Are Sam and Lisa in class? Okay, thank you. Um, let's see, Mirna, Jeanette, continue with uh, question two. He, is he late? Okay, is he late? So what is the meaning of late? Spanish, late. Late. Uh-huh. So is he late? Tarde, okay. Tarde. Demorado, okay. Thank you, Maria Elena. Nice. And the last one, Karen, number three. I am busy. Mm -hmm. Am I? 
Am I? Am I? Busy. 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 Okay. Am I busy? So, guys, are you busy, guys? Are you busy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, so let's continue with some notes about questions. So be careful with this. Don't use what? Um, let's see, Wilfredo, can you read this? Don't use? Don't use contraction in affirmative short answer. Okay, so don't use contractions in affirmative short answers. Are you new here? Yes. Can I say that this? Yes, I am. Okay. So we don't use contractions in short answers. En las respuestas. So remember, we have yes, no questions. Son preguntas cerradas. Sí o no. Entonces, no utilizamos contracciones en estas respuestas cortas. Afirmativas. So don't use contractions in affirmative short answers. So are you new here? Yes, I am. So are you copying that? Yes, no? Tell me. I write, I write. Okay. So I'm going to give you a minute. Thank you. I finish. Okay. So how about another question? Are you hungry, guys? Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes. Me yeah. too. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes, oh. yes. I am I too. Am. Yes. Mm, okay. Uh, let's see. Are you are you old? Not right. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh. Are you lazy, guys? Are you lazy? Yes, I am. No. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> Uh, are you happy, guys? Are you happy? Yeah. Yes, I am yes, happy. I am. They're English. Perfect. Yes. Um, let's see. How about, are you talkative at work? Are you talkative at work? Are you talkative? Know, talk Do you like to talk a lot? ¿Te gusta hablar bastante? Yes. Comunicativo? Uh, <laughs> Okay, so are you talkative at work? Yes, no? At work? Are you talkative? But so uh, this is not yes. a bad thing. So this is just, <laughs> I'm just saying that. Yes, I am. This is not a bad thing. Yes, thing. I am. Mm -hmm. Are you talkative? Do you like to talk a lot? But that's not negative. Are you responsible? Yes, I am. Okay, nice. Yes. Um, um, let's see. Are you married? <laughs> Are you married, guys? Yeah. Single or married? Single or married, guys? Yes. Engagement. Married. And a, yes. Okay, an engagement. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's continue. Are you copying that questions? Yes, no? Yes, I think. How about your temperament? Are you angry? Are you angry about something now? Are you angry? No. No, right? Excellent, so that's great. Okay, so I will continue. May I continue? No. Yes. Yes, yes no. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's see, we have some more examples. So talk with a partner about these pictures and use the verb be and contractions. Mm -hmm. Is it broken? Look at the old computer. So in the past, right? So we don't use this uh, anymore, but. Well, I, I don't think so. <laughs> is it broken? Is it broken, guys? So what do you think? Is it broken? Uh-huh. Is it broken? 
So what is it? Bro? Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, broken. broken. What's the meaning? Broken. Broken. Quebrado. Quebrado. Arruinado. Dañado. Okay. Roto. También. But in, not in that sense in here. Yes, it is. Okay. Look at this. Uh, question one. Omar, please read the question. Am um, I at the right house? Okay. Am I at the right house? So what do you think? So what could be the answer? What could be the answer? Am I at the right house? Yes, I am. Mm. Okay, let's see. More answers. Oh, I am. Am I at the right house, Karen? Am I at the right house, Wilfredo? I am not. No. No? No, no you? No, I am not. No, I am not. Mm, okay. So let's check this one. No, you aren't. So look at this. He is asking uh, here, right? So am I, uh, am I at the right house, Karen? No, you aren't. No, you aren't. Okay. Are they in love? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Okay. No, they aren't. And question three. Is he late, Ileana? Yes. Yes. yes right. So uh, everybody in the morning, are you usually la late for work, guys? He is late. <laughs> this is, uh, well, this represents uh, some of us, right, in the morning. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's all four questions. So we're going to go back. So please uh, take a screenshot or copy that examples. So I would prefer you to take a screenshot. Tómale una captura de pantalla o tome una punta ahí. So don't forget that, it's important. So any questions about, any question about these guys? No. No questions. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Questions. Questions? No. No, no. Okay, perfect. Because we have some more examples and we will continue working on that. <clears throat> Hold on, give me some seconds. I need to share my screen. Okay, so here we go. So we have a grammar B, yes, no questions and short answers. So here you have a chart where you can see um, the yes, questions, no. the structures and the short answers. Let's see, I need a volunteer to read this information. Um, please, um, Luis, help me with the questions. Yes, no questions here. Uh, are you an architect? Okay. He is the an architect. Is he, he? He is he. Perdón. <laughs> eh, is Tanya. ¿Qué es eso? Perdón. Tanya. Tanya. Name. Tanya. Ah, perdón. 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 Is Tanya an architect? Are you? ¿Cómo se lee eso? Perdón. Music. Musician. Okay. Musicians. Musicians. Musician. 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 Musicians. Okay. Musicians. Are they are they and Jane are Ted and Jane musician? Okay, nice. So now look at this. Each of them have an answer. Are you an architect? Yes, I am. Um, are you an architect, Karen? Yes, I am. Um, Omar, are you a doctor? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Omar, are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Okay. Wilfredo, are you a lawyer? No, I'm not. Okay, nice. Uh, Wilfredo, continue with another question. Select a classmate. Uh, you see, are, are you? Uh huh. Are you mu musician? Are you a musician? Are you a musician? Musician. Musician. Okay. Are they a musician? 
Arted and Gen Musician. Okay, nice. Let's see. Um, Virginia, are you a nurse? I'm, I know. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, let's see. I'm How about you, um, Ileana? Are you, let's see, a secretary? Are you a secretary, Ileana? Mm. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Okay. How about you? Let's see, Mirna. Mirna, are you a seller? Yes, I yes. am. Yes, I am. Okay. Sonia, yes, how am. about you? Sonia, are you a florist? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> so I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, Julio, um, are you a professor, Julio? No, I am not. Okay, how about you, Jessica? Are you, let's see, an accountant, Jessica? Are you an accountant? Yes, I am. Okay, nice. Perfect. So it's easy to use that, right? Um, Another question. Is Wilfredo a doctor, guys? Is Wilfredo a doctor? No. 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 He's not. No. He's He's not. not. Okay. No. He's not. No. Okay. Is Karen a lawyer? Is Karen a lawyer? No, she's not. Okay. Not. Is Omar a florist? No, he's not. No, he's no, not. He's not. Right? Let's see. Is Eduardo a um, banker? No. No, he's not. Is Karen a manager? No, yes. Not. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Excellent. So you're paying attention. Okay, nice. So be careful with this, right? Are you a flight attendant? Look at this picture. Are you a flight attendant? No, I'm not. I'm a pilot. So be careful with this, with the contraction. So we don't, we never use contractions in short, oh, sorry. So we never use contractions in short affirmative sentences, okay? Responses, I mean, okay. And look at this. So we have the plural forms. Are you musicians? Guys, are you musicians? No, we aren't. No, no we aren't. We are not. Uh -huh. Perfect. So remember that you have we aren't or we're not. So you have two options. We aren't. Or they aren't. Okay, perfect. With, um, um let's see are you um are you teachers yes yes who's a teacher only yes we are uh no we're yes, not okay yes we aren't yes we aren't yes sí. yes yes we are mm, yes we are Yes, we are, or no, yes, we we're are. not. Okay, so be careful with that. Okay, grammar practice. Complete the conversations and use contractions when possible. Help me with this. Are they Abby and Jonah? Yes. They are, are they Abby and Jonah? Are they Abby and Jonah? Yes. Yes, yes they are. They, they are. are. No, just they are. Just yes, are. They are. Okay. Okay, Hannah, a scientist. Is Hannah. She. Okay. Is he? Okay, is Hannah a he. scientist? He's Remember he. that here you don't need to add she again. Okay. Importante acá, ¿verdad? Ya tienen acá el sujeto, ¿verdad? Ya no necesita agregar ni nada más, solo el verbo. Is Hannah a scientist? No, she. She is. She is. She's, she's not. not. Ah, okay. No, she's, she's not. not. Okay. And how about this space? She is a doctor. 
Are you? Are you, Rachel? Okay. She's a doctor. And okay. Are you, Rachel? Are you and Philip? Are, are you? you? Um, we yes, are, sir. We no? are in. Okay. Check again. No, we're. We're okay. We are. We. We're not. We're not. And how about this space, Judith and Jack? We are. We are, perfect. Okay, conversation four. Is Asha. he? Mm, is he a chef? Yes, I. Yes. Mm. Ah. Are yes, you, I am. am I 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 am is he ever? No. He is not. He is not. No, he is not. No, he is not. No, he is not. He is Michael. He is Michael. He is Michael. Michael, okay. Um, six. Um, is. 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 Um, okay. Is Tim an actor? No. No. Yes. He's not. No. She is no, not. not. So what is he? What does he, he do? Teacher. Okay. He's teacher. Okay. He's a teacher. He's, a, He's teacher. a teacher. Okay. We're going to stop here, and uh, I want you to do something. I want you to send me an audio recording these uh, six uh, questions with the answers. Okay. So let's practice a little bit. So tomorrow you can send me, um, let's see, tomorrow by noon, I want you to send me that audio, okay? Number one, are they Abby and Jonah? Are they Abby and Jonah? Yes, they are. Are they Abby and Jonah? Yes, they are. Is Hannah a scientist? Scientist. No. Scientist. Scientist. No, she's not. She's a doctor. So you can use a contraction here. Okay. She's a doctor or yeah. she is a doctor. Are you Rachel and Philip? No, we're not. We are Judith and Jack. Are you a chef? Chef. Are you a chef? Yes, I am. Is he Evan? No, he's not. He is not. <laughs> he's my oh. Bless you. Is Tim an actor? No, he's not. He's a teacher. Okay, so we're going to stop here. Take a screenshot, toman una captura de pantalla, and remember to send me that conversations, these short dialogues, okay? By uh, WhatsApp? Yes. I'm going to send you a message. Let's see. Yeah, through WhatsApp. Okay, ahí les dejé mi número para que me los puedan enviar. But if you want, you can send it through the group. Okay. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. So it's 10.01. Nos quedamos hasta acá, chicos, eh, por este día. Y solamente se quedaría este día. Y ahorita les digo quién se nos queda. Preguntas, chicos, sobre, eh, digamos, sobre la plataforma. Vamos a ver. Eh, Gabriela María Guevara. Gabriela, si se nos queda acá este día. Muy bien. Y también veamos la plataforma. En la plataforma, si les vamos a solicitar que trabajen en el homework número 2. ¿Hay alguien que no haya ingresado todavía a la plataforma? 
Yo, yo no he podido entrar también. Vamos a ver, ¿por qué no, hay, ¿por qué no ha ingresado? ¿Cuál es el inconveniente? Yo por el correo. Ah, sí, Isaías, ya lo solicitamos. Vamos a ver. Mirna, díganme, mira. Yo no pude entrar por lo del correo, pero voy a intentar más tarde. Ah, vaya, de acuerdo. Pero, ¿usted sí tiene, recibió lo, las credenciales en el correo? No. no Solo no. la notificación que me cayó en WhatsApp, el, okay. los enlaces. Ok. Ok, vamos a solicitarlas entonces. Muy bien. Vamos, eh, les voy a enviar eh, una captura de, de pantalla eh, porque quiero que trabajen en algunas páginas del manual. Entonces ese manual lo encuentran en la plataforma. Igual se lo voy a hacer llegar eh, vía WhatsApp para que ustedes lo tengan ahí. Y si gustan, pues lo pueden imprimir también o pueden ir imprimiendo las páginas que se van trabajando. Yo les voy a mandar los números de página que vamos a trabajar. A ver, serían... Por ejemplo, página número eh, 9 y 10. Página 9 y 10 ya les pueden completar. Eh, esa, ese manual está en la plataforma, pero igual yo se lo voy a hacer llegar eh, al, al WhatsApp este día. ¿Yo, okay? Entonces, así quedamos chicos. No sé si hay alguna otra eh, pregunta, inconveniente que han tenido. Y trabajen en el Homework 2 de la plataforma. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bien. Gabriela, um, bye. lo mismo que les mencionaba, la, esta es una tutoría adicional para um, aclarar cualquier duda ¿verdad? de la okay. plataforma, de las actividades, de, de los contenidos, y para darle y, pues, facilitarle y ayudarle. Um, me gustaría escuchar cómo, pues, cómo se ha sentido en las clases y también este... Bueno, si tiene alguna duda respecto a los temas o la plataforma, a lo que le podamos ayudar. Bueno, la plataforma, igual ayer pude entrar y, y veo que son una serie como los dos ejercicios que ha he hecho son eh, la, similares a los de la clase. Uh -huh. De ir completándolos y, y da la opción como de repetir, porque en la primera, por ejemplo, el primer ejercicio al final sale como el puntaje, pero da la opción de repetirlo. Ajá. Como de, de corregir, o sea, parece cuál está malo y poder corregirlo. Eso me parece bastante interesante. Ah, ok. Sí, um, vamos a ver, déjenme verificar. Y acá puedo... Vamos, no sé, acá, vamos a verificar. Vamos a... Acá. Sí, porque eh, lo repitió. El primero sí lo repetí. Ah, Creo vale. Que... Vamos a ver. Mm, okay. Gabriela, ¿verdad? Sí. Vamos a ver si me aparece. ¿Ese es su correo? No. No, no pasa nada. No, 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 no. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué se tendría que aparecer? No. Pero, ¿y le subió la nota al momento de, 
Sí, cuando ya lo finalizo, en la opción siguiente. Ah, ok. Entonces, hoy trabajaríamos en, la, en el homework 2. Voy a revisar yo eso del, de las calificaciones. Pero no me da la opción acá. No sé qué, qué me está pasando hasta acá. Como sugerencia, siempre al final eh, o en el transcurso del día se, puede, se pueden completar las actividades. Sí, sí. La, sí el, tienen prácticamente hasta el siguiente día, hasta la siguiente clase, para completarlo. La cuestión es que para que no se vayan atrasando. ¿verdad? Ah, pero sí entendí que lo, lo, al final de la semana, los viernes, sí es como que debemos de completar todas las tareas. Mm, sí, vaya, por ejemplo, pero depende, ¿verdad? Porque cada tarea va según eh, cada día. ¿no? Tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3. Lo menos acá debería estar completo el día de, de mañana. Pero igual ustedes pueden avanzar. Pueden avanzar, pero eh, a veces pueden sugerir dudas, ¿verdad? Entonces, por sí. eso lo recomendamos que después de cada clase. Y con respecto a la, a la plataforma, ¿hay algún otro punto que le, en el que necesite apoyo? No, veo que es, eh, hay un tipo de libro eh, que mencionó que vamos a hacer alguna sí. actividad. Eh, este, este libro está acá. O Se le aparece acá, curso, progreso, fechas, discusión. Sí, student, okay. Ajá, en este student manual. Y acá pues va avanzando. Esta páginas son como de, de introducción, el, introducción el, sí. ajá, el contenido de ahí avanzando en la siguiente por ejemplo acá, acá. unidad 1 get to know someone y ahí sí ya nos ubicamos en, en, en algunas ocupaciones sí, lo que hemos visto en la clase ajá, lo que hemos visto en la clase lo que voy a hacer mejor es enviarles el enlace para que ustedes lo vayan eh, lo vean aquí directamente en la plataforma y pues si desean lo, lo descargan o lo, o lo van trabajando solamente los ejercicios en el cuaderno. En el cuaderno. Ajá, por ejemplo, acá están este, how to use be singular statements. Acá está, completar las oraciones con afirmativas, negativas. Igual, ustedes verifiquen ahí algunos ejercicios. Ahorita solamente les he, eh, he dicho que trabajen en esta página 9 y 10. 9 y 10. Ajá, igual pueden ir progresando, ¿verdad? Y yo espero que el día de mañana eh, empecemos acá, ¿verdad? Con la siguiente página. Eso espero, eso nada más. Um, está acá. Y con respecto al contenido, eh, no sé si hay alguna duda del contenido. No, no considero que... Todo bien. Vamos, vamos avanzando. Sí, Todo bien. La, la pronunciación es la que cuesta. Ok. ¿Y cómo se ha sentido durante la clase? Bien, bien, bastante bien. Me gusta la, la apertura. Como, por ejemplo, ahora que empezar como con una dinámica para romper el hielo, porque si es un horario, yo en lo personal siento que es bastante pesado el horario. Sí, había noche. <ríe> Sí, es sí. bastante noche. Sí, pero, porque había otra opción de 6 a 8, pero no, no alcanzaba a, a conectarme. Ajá. Sí, es porque un... en ese lado del trabajo, la casa, sí, no. Sí, sí, no, sí tiene razón. Sí, ya nos ha pasado que, eso, que los tiempos a veces no dan. Muy bien. Entonces, este, bueno, si no hay ninguna duda, pues hasta el momento pues nos quedamos hasta acá. Gabriela, igual yo le dejo la apertura ahí para que en cualquier duda que surja, pues igual ahí estamos por WhatsApp. Okay. Y la, lo que dejo por WhatsApp es enviar los audios de la última. Ajá, de, la, de las últimas este, diálogos, ¿no? Diálogos ah, cortos. Okay. Okay. Solamente eso. Y lo enviamos al grupo o directamente a, a, a su WhatsApp. Me lo pueden enviar directamente a mí. Bueno, okay. Puedo dejarlo en el grupo. No hay ningún inconveniente con él. De acuerdo. Ok, Gabriela. Muchas gracias, Gabriela, por el tiempo. Nos Muchas vemos. Gracias. See you tomorrow. Nos vemos See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.